Hi everyone, Alex here. I'd just like to take a moment to thank some of our patrons. Daria Lay Dennison, Grace Ann, Alex Surname, Tegan McCreary, Kieran Coates, Shu, T. A. Fitzlet, Christ Sterling, Evan Cody, Mandy Huyn, Small Medium Problems, Big Carl, Babe Halberstadt, Azana, Nick Oliviero, Anne Marie Windhorst, Say, Claire Martin, Ashley Anderson. Thank you all. We really appreciate your support. If you'd like to join them, go to www.patreon.com forward slash Rusty Quill and take a look at our rewards. Rusty Quill Gaming Podcast. I'm your host and GM, Alex Newell. With me today, I have... Ben Meredith, Bryn Monroe, Lydia Nicholas, and Helen Gould. And who are you playing? Zolf Smith. Hamid Salah, Harun Al-Tahan. Ah! <laughs> oh, yeah. Sell side bottom. <laughs> and a half-drowned Azu. You, you're not half-drowned. You can breathe. It's fine. I have 28 hit points, which is more than half of my hit points gone. <laughs> it's more than Hamid's total, right? Kidding. <laughs> kidding. <laughs> kidding. He's got 29, right? <laughs> How many hit points do you have? 46. Yeah, he's, he's actually not. Wow. Yeah. Hamid has more hit points than Cell does. You know, compared to the average commoner, he's a pretty beefy boy, is Oh, 45. 45 hit points. So, as a very, 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 very cursory recap, we're all currently... Uh... <laughs> Water happened to the end. <laughs> <laughs> cursory being the operative word. We are all in an underwater base attempting to track down and get a gentleman named Shoin. Most of the party are currently in a flooded room with alarms going off, and... Hamid is currently with a little gentleman called Skrark and crawling through some corridors. Also, he's about 30 seconds or so earlier than the rest of the party. Which is why we're going to start with Hamid. (laughs) So we heard a a smash and a rattle and then everything went calm for a second. And then a little bit of a groaning started, a sort of... That kind of thing. Oh dear. Oh, <laughs> the classic. trademark. Yeah. <laughs> Iconic. Yeah. Coming down the drag you, race runway. Like, like, Scrock oh tugs at how many tries to put his snout near uh, what, what What's wrong, Scrock? Scrock! Pressure equalisation. Scrock! <laughs> uh, oh, okay, yeah. I think we just have to keep going, though. I'm not sure there's anything else we can do. Can you give me a sense motive, please? 15. 15. Now you think about it, Skrark has been starting to behave a little bit differently to how he behaved initially. Yeah. He seems a little bit more with it. It's the best way I can describe it. And um, you the haven't mind controlling juice they were given this yeah. wearing off. Yeah, it's like it basically that's that's a logical assumption. It has gone from he is in a world that doesn't have actual comic reliefs, behaving as if he was a comic relief character. You know, like if you meet someone and they're deliberately making a prat of themselves kind of thing. <laughs> to he seems to be normalising slightly, and that phrase just happens to have triggered the consideration. He doesn't appear to be doing anything unusual, it's just something about his Does manner. he seem very worried? Not especially. Yeah. So after that pause for whatever that was, we keep crawling down the tube? Okay. Yeah, you keep crawling down the tube. Uh, you are trying to make onwards progress, aren't you? Yeah. However... We're not in a particular rush, so we're just given, going until Unfortunately, else that this isn't a... Uh, sensibly laid out place it's all curves and domes because of pressure and so on can you give me a survival check to make onwards progress for navigation Hmm. while you're rolling I'm just thinking it's really sad Hmm. that if Squark has been mind controlled like the only thing he remembers is his own name five five okay cool you and Squark together who for audience benefit roll the three make really steady progress you are certain that you are making really good progress on this Um, however it has been at this point quite a while you can't really tell how long without there being another exit door and then you you arrive at a junction of call it another t-junction where you're pretty certain you're more or less at the center and you reckon that somewhere maybe left maybe right you don't know that there'll be an exit at this point somewhere I go left. Okay. You start heading left. Skrark takes a moment and goes, mm, No. No, I think it's right. I look left. I look right. I shrug. And go right. Okay. 
you carry on right for a moment. It's not the most glamorous or exciting part of the adventure, but sometimes <laughs> these things happen. I'm going to jump back to the people who are trapped, uh, sorry, chosen to be in a room that has large amounts of alarms going off. We're going to jump back with cell being grabbed and alarms going off. <coughs> and all kinds of mechanisms starting. Just keep um, them on screaming. Yep. And kicking really hard. Oh, for, for the benefit of the party members with dark vision, two extremely large solid steel doors almost blast doors effectively seem to start shunting down into place at the two entrances the entrance that you came in and a door on the far side and starting to like lower themselves they're not especially quick but you're not going to be able to dash across really and do much about it I... obviously from Sal's perspective it's just honking <laughs> noise honking <laughs> the <laughs> goose alarm <laughs> 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 It's a lovely day in the dungeon. <laughs> There's a loud. <laughs> okay, can I push off from the floor so that my head comes out of the water, please? Yes. And, like, what I'm going to say is just... that if you'll just allow me to say you're at the edge of the room, you can just be above the water. Okay, I will do that and I will say, Sell. No, sorry, that was me. Um, I forgot. Why would you do that? I forgot you can't see. We need to go and probably try and get to those doors because otherwise we're going to get... Is, is Zolf... Is Mr. Smith dead? No. Oh, okay, good. At this point, I will <laughs> climb up as well and go... Oh, <clears throat> I'm fine. Don't worry about me. That's, that's good to hear. <laughs> I pulled a lever. That sounds like a bad move. Well, no, it looked like an emergency lever. I thought it might drain the room. Um, there's blast doors coming down. I'm hoping they're a precursor to draining the room. <laughs> mm. Maybe hasty, but yeah. I, I don't know if Showin would have built something quite so useful as a room it's an underwater draining. Base. You it's all got- notice the telltale sort of pressure building noise that accompanied the last break in pressure and so on. I think we should get out of this room. I think we should I... get under the water. That one... Are we at sea? Yes. Okay, I'm going to make a survival check, a plus two, because I'm at sea. <laughs> <laughs> About what is the best thing to do with a pressure differential like this. So, 11. Air or water? Water. We need to get under the water so this pressure won't <coughs> affect us, but this should be okay, all right? Go now. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Y- yes. <gasps> <laughs> Cell goes down and has taken the water breathing yeah. function. Yes, you both so, have, I yeah. haven't, but so. I'm confident I can. Confident. And Azu? I'm going to do what the others are doing. I don't... It's I'm not functioning. slightly easier for you. <laughs> yeah. Azu um, is not functioning very well, so... Sure. I look over and give you, like, a thumbs up. This is fine. There is an extremely Azu shakes her head, she's like, I'm not fine. loud noise under the water of a... Even more vigorous <laughs> than that. Like, it sounds like something is tearing itself apart. <laughs> I hesitate slightly with my vigorous thumbs up and I'm like, the loud thumbs noise, go to the side. The loud noise stops and then you hear a sort of... Like, you know, like bubbles reaching up Thumbs water go and back so up. <laughs> As it was going to try and take Cell by the arm and sort of make their way over to Zolf because she now wants to be with everybody and not with one person on the other side of the room. <laughs> Fair. Okay. I'll allow this under the water. None of you notice any difference in the water level or behaviour of the water in any way. Weird. <sighs> right. I've got loads of hit points. Um, I, stick <laughs> I my don't head, stick my head above water. <laughs> There's nothing happening. There's no pressure differential. Everything seems fine. What's the we? It's gone. I'm still holding my breath. I'm still holding the water breathing potion, which means that if I try and breathe nothing, I'm going to try and take a breath. You take a breath completely as normal. Okay. Right. I'll sink back down and point up. Okay. Thumbs up. Azu will go back up... <laughs> We're taking Cell with her. <laughs> Cell's mouth keeps going. You can't hear what no. it's saying. It's underwater. <laughs> okay. I guess, do we break the surface okay? Yeah. Everything's fine. Right. Uh, as they come above her. So, really, uh, what I'm thinking is that I... I'd, I'd, does anyone have any healing options? Because yes. I yes. am... Lo- oh, good. Right. I mean, I'm I... quite hurt. Okay. Well, we'll gather around um, and I'll sort ourselves out. How how badly are you hurt to Cell? Pretty badly. Badly, like that pummeling hurt yep. quite I, a lot. I can keep going until we all feel better again. But I dropped my d6 under the table, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, here goes the first one. Nice. 15 hit points back. Ooh. How are we doing? 
I've got a small amount of, of extra life that would be nice. All right. I, my, my inner vigours are... Cell is the only character that I would allow to have come up with a way of tracking their own health <laughs> by a <laughs> because that's a very Cell thing to do. I would assume that about, like, maybe 8 to 15% of my vital... Like, like I, I call them health percentage. Um, <laughs> it's a proportion of my health. Now, that it's, it's a very unique right. personal... Uh, assessment. Other people may have different health percentages. Uh. It really it depends on other things, including I think one's constitution. Also, I think personality and star sign. I haven't quite worked <laughs> it out. Okay. Well, whatever happens, have another go, and you get eleven hit points back. Oh, nice. How are we doing? Back to full. My full is basically your half, but it's fine. Right. Who's still feeling under the weather? I would, I would say I'd like to sit down, but we're in a lot of. Water. The speakers burst into life ahead, 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 above you. Just before he starts talking, do uh, lay on hands yourself. Yeah, I will do. I'll allow that to happen first. Yes. You touch yourself. I do. It feels good. Azu touches herself for comfort. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm at sixty-five. Points. Okay, so at we're all point, basically full. The speakers burst into life. Enjoy your stay at Hotel Showy, and the food is to die for, and so is the gin. Such noble heroes deserve a... Shut up! Shut up! Doing nothing! Such noble heroes deserve a rest. Don't tarry, or you'll fail the test. (laughs) Shut shut, up! And then... (laughs) Oh, good. Another devious puzzle. Ugh. How'd you factor in the room flooding? I, I would like to leave. I would like to... Yeah. Are the blast doors still there? Yep, they're still down. I'm going to switch the switch back. Are the... You said there were raised walkways. Mm -hmm. Is the water over the raised walkways? No, not at all. The raised walkways are... They're almost, to be honest, at the water level that you're at now. Like, the room's, let's say, half flooded for the sake of ease, give or take. Well, Cell can't see that, so... Just adding that as information to the people that can see. All of the lounge parts of this room are now flooded. Yeah, but there are places to sit. There are places to stand and not be in water, yeah. Yeah, That's (laughs) a good... The thing to know, yeah. not that Cell knows. Yeah, I know. What, you, what, what do you two reckon? Like, I can, I can reflick the switch. Obviously, so I imagine you can't see anything. So it's not great. No, out. it's not great. Yep, and all of our equipment is now going to be sodden. So there's no mundane torches being lit. That's a good point. Who was the one that was doing all the light stuff earlier? That That'll was... be Hammond. Oh, he was really useful. Your torches will be fine if they are explicitly kept in the bag of holding, if because mm. it's an extra dimensional space. Oh. If they are not in the bag of holding, they are ruined. Is there anywhere that I could like maybe stand? Maybe a half a door that yes. has like been broken off, and I could lay on that. You guys can paddle around the edge. <laughs> I think I think we can get you out of the water. Can I? Sorry, I, I realise I've been I've been dragging you around. Oh no, that's fine. Um, are yeah. you sure? Yeah. Well, okay. I mean, it wasn't fine when when you grabbed my leg and pulled me underwater. That, I'm, so, I'm, I'm that, very sorry. That, I, it's fine. Right, I'm gonna go flick the switch and I don't like that. <laughs> okay, so you go down and you try and pull the lever up. Yeah. It resists quite a lot. Mm-hmm. Then you are able to manage to. The alarm starts ringing again. It's the same alarm as before. That. Did he, what was it you described? Did he go and flick alarm. the switch? Did he yes. do that? Right. The two blast doors begin to start trying to grind upwards. The one heading back the way you came then just stops and then relowers. The one that leads onwards continues to raise upwards. And nothing's coming through it? Nope. Okay. It was a blast door in front of one of those sort of submarine type doors. Okay. So are we... Are we? Did the door... What, what's um, happened? One of the doors has opened. Oh, yeah. good. Is it a I door think... going in like a friendly direction? It's going in the direction we need to go, probably not friendly, towards the towards show in. We go yes. forwards, not back. The back blast door stayed down, assumedly because it's all flooded. That that sounds like something an engineer would design in, but I don't know if I trust show in to, to Oh, no, the, those, those doors... Well, you, you know, they were terrible, weren't they? They, they, they were, were not used, up to They're task. really badly designed. Like, the weight balance was all And you'd think a door designed to, you know, put up water pressure, if the water was there, it wouldn't make it harder. It's, it's really... Like, re- one thing or I'm learning it. from all of this is that showing really just was not as good at maths as I, I thought. I would really like to get this over with and go... So would I. To, okay. And find Hammond. So... Right, should we? Yeah, that's, that's the end. <laughs> the end of the sentence was go back to Hamid. He's, he's the only one you've got left, Helen. Yeah. And you just let him go off by himself. <laughs> Shut up, those ripples in the room. Yeah, quiet. As he was too busy letting everyone else down. <laughs> You're such bullies. 
is. I'm being so mean. Well, I mean, complete, I'm being maltreated. Well, are, completely unprompted. Then, uh, actually, I just want to quickly say, I think we dealt with that quite well. So, well done, everyone. That uh, could have been a. Cheer, that, I, cheers, Mr. Smith. Good, good work on the door shedding. And well handed, as we, most people will panic horribly, and you didn't. Good so. swimming. Yeah. Just, I'm saving my panic for later. Okay. Um, we can't. Oh, that, that hurts that so is, much more. That is such a great survival thing. <laughs> now, I mean, look, obviously it's not the healthiest way, but really, like, having a bit of a panic afterwards. Uh, you know when you have, like, a really busy day and at the end okay. you just have a little I just, cry? I just think, okay, I... Like a tactical one. I think maybe we need to have a, a discussion about coping mechanisms after we're out, because I've been there. We've all been We've, there. Wh- where have you been, Mr. Smith? Because I've spent my whole life going through different war zones. Uh, um, I uh, lost my faith in a god and had an argument with uh, that god. So. Oh, that sounds nice. No. Anyway, oh. um, well, I can explain. Wasn't I'll, it Poseidon? I'll ex- yes, and I'll explain later. Look, not now, but later I will, all right? Anyway. We can all have arguments. I don't know. <laughs> Mr. Coping Mechanisms. <laughs> Splashes around. So, the point is, please. it's not it's not going to help if I have a lot of feelings all over the place right now. So I'm just going to not and okay. put them in a we box. Can... Yes. The speakers burst into life. <laughs> <laughs> tick tock, tick tock. Let's not fall to toxic shock. <laughs> and then the speakers go off. Please, can we leave this room so that the speakers can't get us anymore? Yes. All right. Let's go. I'm going to jump to Hamid. So. You continue making seemingly good progress. Uh, you find yourself at, at, at like your maybe 30th junction. Uh, and you notice a long, broad scratch has been carved into it. And Skrark seems to give a bit of a sigh. Oh, oh you're finding a circle. Skrark, what's, what's wrong? From behind you, Skrark taps on the shoulder and points back the way that you've come. And you see intermittently at the right of the edge of your vision another long scratch. Presumably others. Oh. Darn. Should have been marking the route we've been taking. I've been we may I, want to just open a door. I've done that before and I forgot this time. We do need to orient ourselves. Well, we have. Y- yeah, um, we're going to have to o- open a hatch and just... Just at random. Look, look where we are, at the very least. We need to do it very carefully, though, because remember, some of the rooms in the base were flooded and could be flooding anywhere, really. Hmm. Is there a good way to check before you open something? If you just tap on it? Hmm. Scott, considers for a moment. Uh, yeah, yeah, prob- yeah, probably. OK, on, then. On, uh... which, one, which one looks good to you, Scrock? Hmm. Scrock goes over and then pulls down a little side hatch and you see what effectively is a pressure gauge. He starts tapping it. Oh, that's really useful. Uh, seems okay. This one then? Okay, let's... Okay. We've got one of the wrenches that was in the weird boxes oh, from yeah, yeah. way back at the beginning. You do, you do have a proprietary show-in wrench. Yeah. <laughs> We picked up like three, and I, I think I think I took one. It's how you know they're truly an yeah. evil genius, as if they force you to use their proprietary tools in addition to buying yeah. the actual core stuff. <laughs> Scrock sort of goes to move it and goes, hmm, maybe you should be ready with the... Yep. Okay. <laughs> Scrock begins pumping the sort of side panel. There's the telltale tss of something... Um, of the of hydraulics, although it doesn't seem broken, this one, what it's worth. And then um, slightly further down the corridor, maybe 15 feet or so, you hear a sort of mechanism moving, and then a peculiar green light f- floods into it from that opening, which is about 15 feet further down. It becomes apparent that these corridors may have been just full completely of these doors and have just been going unnoticed, and you had no way of knowing what was and what wasn't a door anyway. The quality of the light is, you remember I talked about those sort of rippling light quality? Mm-hmm. That, but lurid green. Oh dear. Yeah, I'll go up to the panel that's just opened and cautiously peek round it. Cool, that seems like a sensible place to take a break, and then we'll be back in a couple of minutes. And welcome back. I am going to stick with Hamid for a change. Ooh. Hamid, do you poke your head round? 
Are you doing so quietly, carefully and stealthily? Yes. Could you give me the appropriate role? Still in a skin-tight cat suit. Oh, yes. Are you wearing the... Ooh. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. We should get you that on a mug. Name a more iconic pair. Uh, 14. <laughs> 14. Cool. You poke your head in and find yourself up near the, for lack of a better word, rafters of an enormous room. There is a walkway immediately next to this... I keep wanting to call it a Jeffrey tube. Next to this maintenance tube, it seems that you've lost all sense of verticality and you've actually managed to find yourself at the top of a very large room. To give you a quick description, it is well lit by this lurid green light. There is a huge domed ceiling of glass of which you are sort of at the edge of it. I want you to think, you know those sort of old Victorian, um, like, large greenhouses and so on? like yeah, those, like those the Kew Gardens. Yeah, like big... Like big, the British Museum, the glass roof. Yeah, big trust metal oh, doming. Yeah, okay. So it's, like, reinforced, but it is, it is arced glass style. Crystal Palace. Yeah. Yeah, better, yeah, better. Yeah, yeah. And these are all references that mean nothing to US listeners. Um, mm-hmm. Google it. It's not, it's not the football team. Yeah. <laughs> So it's a large glass dome with sort of um, metal stanchions and so on reinforcing it built into it. The dome is probably about 100 foot diameter and it is a perfectly circular room. There is a walkway at the rim of this large glass dome and it is perfectly sort of above ever so slightly to the, the corridor that you're currently in. So it's looking down into the room from the angle that you're at because you're sort of looking up towards this dome. You can see the dome's a little bit worse for wear like there's there's some weeds growing up across a bit of it and so on it's a little bit grimy you can't see the surface the surface is way higher than where you are currently you would have to enter the room to get anything more than a look of this large extremely large dome ceiling Skrok Skrok come here do you you recognise this room let's be quiet uh, you've never been to this bit of the base before I've never even been in the in in, in the lift before okay okay Stay here, stay quiet. I mean, I'll be honest, though, this does have big boss written all over it. Genre savvy NPCs. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. I mean, that, that, that is a room big enough for a hundred foot tall man made entirely of fire and lightning. I mean, I st- still think that might be a slight exaggeration. But you're right, it is, it is possible. Okay. Um, stay, stay here, stay quiet. I'm just going to put on this, this new cloak we found. And I'm just going to do a quick circuit of the edge of the room. Yeah, okay. Staying as hidden as I can. Do you want me to uh, keep hold of this health potion in case you go down? That's a good idea, yeah. Yeah, how are Also, do, do, do you have any uh, weapons, Skrark? Um, he, he pulls out a pair of respectable claws for a kobold of his size. Aww. I mean, okay, that's, those are good, but I've got something else for you. I pull out from my bag of holding, like Mary Poppins, <laughs> a fully loaded injection spear. <laughs> that I had earlier. Oh, and it'd be cobbled sized as well, could yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> so I picked up one that was from one oh. of the cobbles earlier. You, you know how to use one of these? I mean, point your own goes in the other person. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the, do, 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 I've got some canisters to reload it as well. Oh, Would those yeah. be useful? Yeah, great. Okay, I'll give, you, I'll give you those as well. He stabbed you in the back! Nah! No, he doesn't. <laughs> obviously, obviously, we don't want to start a fight yeah, if yeah. we can avoid it. Yeah, yeah. Well. It's a little bit awkward having a spear in a corridor, but yeah, yeah he's, he's like, okay, all right, yeah. Ah, Skrark Avenger. Remember. Death from above, etc. General Skrark General, Avenger. General Skrark. Ah. I give him a smile. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I, I sh- shrug on the cloak of Elvenkind. Mm-hmm. And I step into the room. Mm-hmm. Take my sleeves off, put them back on, so I'm back in my three-piece suit. Obviously, mm-hmm. obviously. Standard. I mean, if someone does see me, I want to look good. <laughs> <laughs> Prestidigitation. Actually? Yeah. So the vocal and somatic components of prestidigitation <laughs> alert the uh, guards. No, that's fine. I'll, I'll allow it, but it does have a vocal component. I know. I do it quietly. <laughs> right, and yeah, I'm going to start... Like, Sit it, m- bang! And now you can... <laughs> 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 it's the, it's the that is component. the best version of presentation I've ever heard. <laughs> bang, and the dirt is gone. Yeah. <laughs> that's a very UK reference yeah. for everyone yeah. else in the world. I'm going to go at least a little way around the... the you the, don't need to before I can give you an enormous description. I will, so go, I will go a little way around the edge. Literally just peering from yeah. the edge of your walkway, but I can I'm, give I'm you I'm trying to be room. as stealthy as possible. That's cool. fine. The large circular room 
has at the far end to you what at first glance appears to be an enormous pipe organ. Huge. Just <laughs> massive. Alex, can I just tell you, I really respect your craft. <laughs> I mean, it I, is... I don't, I don't get it. Uh, well, it's just super evil. Dun, it's also Bioshock dun, dun. mixed with Davy Jones from the Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay. And the Phantom of the Opera. Yeah, I'm just expecting a dude with a mask on. Well, actually, if Bill Nye were here, that'd be... <laughs> So, this enormous, enormous pipe organ. Can you give me a knowledge engineering, please? If no. You, you do not have it all. I don't have knowledge engineering. Um, that's fine, then. Can you give me a knowledge arcana, please? Yes. 19. It's not really your field of expertise, anyway. So, this enormous pipe organ that's <laughs> filling up easily the far third of this domed room. Goodness. It is enormous. Has all of these pipes and so on running all the way up to the dome and then out and so Might on. Might be best to let... Alex draw these things. It has, We're trying to draw the battle map based on clues. <laughs> it has either side of it two enormous cylinders, easily maybe a diameter of about 20 feet, filled with lurid green liquid, which is bubbling away and it's sort of framing this pipe organ thing. God, and then the even. pipes of either of them are leading into this pipe organ. Hey, for... just because something is a bright colour and it's bubbling <laughs> away and is connected to a large device does not mean that it is evil, even bad. I reckon this is all cosmetic. It's all set dressing. The pipe organ is uh, designed in such a way to look like a huge figure is stood looming over whoever is playing it <laughs> with a pair of large eyes looking down Oh my down god, it's them. the Wizard of Oz. Oh my god, it's like a circus. If ever, ever, ever a whiz there was. <laughs> it's showing. Yeah, <laughs> turns out. Except he's not a wizard. <laughs> so yeah, it is. Maybe he is. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but, <laughs> rubbish but this time the munchkins are here and they're out for blood. <laughs> 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 <Quite like that. laughs> We're all so clearly stalling for time I before might we die. That. I might steal that. So, other things that you um, become aware of from your vantage point is there are a large number of pipe entrances to this room that just seem to be pipes that poke into the room and just stop with grating over them. It doesn't look like they're to flood the room necessarily. It has a very, very sort of fine mesh, more like like filter paper or something than like anything else. And then in the room, there is what appears to be sort of different sections, okay? So you have your big pipe organ, which is occupying the majority at the far end. Then on one side appears to be sort of one quadrant is designed in a very sort of lush study I don't know how to put it like it has like a mahogany desk a good chair excellent gentle lighting a little chaise long filing cabinets etc <laughs> on the far side of that appears to be some kind of bedroom setup so on the far quadrant and then the quadrant it's a that's, studio apartment the quadrant, show in as a bubble boy the quadrant that is underneath you appears to be again you can just see through the grating at a glance some kind of maybe kitchen although there's a lot of alchemical stuff that's splayed around so eh. in the exact middle of the room you see a large circular table okay and it has four places set <laughs> oh. at the head there is a larger chair between the pipe organ and the round table which is currently occupied oh no by a humanoid figure sat with steepled hands upon the desk. Shoot me across by shoot him in his eyes. Fireball him, just fireball him now. Yes. This concludes the description of the room. Fireball him now. Right, well, that's a lot. I said, you said the four places are laid out mm -hmm. and Showin's just, presumably Showin, is just sitting there at because the table. Because almost all of the lighting is behind yeah. the figure. Oh, of course. Um, it's an unnecessarily large and ornate chair, like with, with gnarled wood and etc. upon it. So it's you have no <laughs> sight of his or her. Everyone okay. knows I'm faking that I love this. I would like yeah. to sneak all the way round the edge of the room to the end of the walkway near the big pipe organ and one of the large chemical vat cylinders out of Showin's eyeline on the walkway. That's my that's my next goal. Give Sneak me a stealth there. check, please. Skrark will stay where you told him to stay yep. unless you say otherwise. Aww. You've got a good bonus. Nice. 30. Whoa, that's almost Sasha levels. I will return to this. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, it's below average, Sash. That's fine. Yeah, that's that's fine. about... No, that's, okay. a, that's a decent role. Returning to the rest of the party. Yeah. Uh, so, you were going to head through the door on the far side? I, yeah. Yes, I think so. I, I mean, um, I, a cursory quick scan just to make sure there's not, like, anything obviously useful in the room, but I'm not going to turn it over. Like, um, if there's a rep- weapons rack in the gantries or something. Like there is the following... But bear in mind, by there is, what I mean is scattered Floating randomly about. around the room, yeah, most so of which is broken, is... I'm genuinely not spending much time. That's so, fine, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, there probably was a weapons rack in there that had a mundane axe, a mundane longsword, a mundane bow, and a mundane hammer, and a brace of mundane daggers. They were all sheathed, which is why you weren't making checks against being damaged by them. (laughs) There's a huge amount of shattered and broken bottles now around the place. Oh, yeah, this is a death soup. Like, you're all wearing armour. If a civilian was in this, they'd they'd be coming out the worse for wear. Mm -hmm. There is maybe a couple of bottles that appear to not necessarily have spoiled. There's the furniture that's trashed. There was also a bookcase... All of the books are completely damaged beyond repair. Well, it's all right, because any of them that were worthwhile and therefore magical wouldn't have been, so that's done the work that for me. is the way the game works. Yep. They are all trashed. Good. Uh, fine, there's nothing useful in here. Unless you want to spend genuinely hours trawling, no. Okay. Well, personally, no, I can't speak for the others, but... Can't um, see for nubbins. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got any nubbins, I'm sorry. Okay. So, shall I, um, you know, take your hand if you can't... Oh, See, that'd, I can be, lead that'd you. be lovely. Okay. I would appreciate that. Thank you, Asu. All, All right. right, I'll undo this. Be prepared for maybe as soon as it unlocks, it gets pushed open. I don't know which way the door opens. Is it obvious? Which uh, way the... Oh, yeah, so it's, it's another one of the yeah. um, submarine doors, and it'll open inwards. Oh, goodness. Right, might need some help here, Asu. We're going to be pulling against the whole water. Okay, sure. right. Asu's going to come up to you, like... Holding Cell's hand and then say to Cell, okay. So. <laughs> Are we still underwater? We're going to have. Mm, the, we, we're the going door to have to go underwater. It's underwater. Because yeah. the room didn't drain, so. I okay. am going to allow something because I know what's on the other side of the door. Mm-hmm. Oh dear. I will allow people mm-hmm. to basically skip past this as a skill challenge mm-hmm. because it will basically just deteriorate into a series of strength checks until people make it yeah. or take, collapse. Take 20. I wouldn't say you even need to take 20. We gloss over that part of it. Here's what you do. Mm -hmm. You proceed to open the door. One of you swims down and spins the thing. Another one of you uses leverage to crack the door open. The second that the door is cracked open, water begins flowing into it at a seemingly controlled rate. Thus, the water level just continues to go down until it's about... Solving a lot of your problems. ...two feet off the ground. There's a reason that I'm not requiring checks. It's not actually a challenge. Whatever's on the other side of the room has not complicated things. It's simplified them. Great. Okay, we do that. The reason I was willing to gloss this over... Can I suggest you just throw open the door? I uh, no, okay. I am going to very carefully open. The That's door. fine. On the other side I'm of not the door, showing the game. On the other side of the door is 15 foot of blank corridor, and then no more, 20 foot of blank corridor, and then another door exactly the same oh, as this right. one. Okay. This concludes the exciting adventure of <laughs> opening the door. Right. Do you want to? Should we torch this up? Have you got any dry torches? Oh yeah, uh, I mean, in, in this in this nice bag that you got me, I put everything in here. Uh, that seems sensible at the time. All right. Obviously, I didn't say that to you because I'd be like saying breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, which would be really annoying over time. <laughs> but oh, anyway, no, it, it re- no, yeah, that. Thank you, because that really would be. I yeah, think. I mean, I know sometimes I, mean, I can be a bit much, but that would be too much, right? I gave you all anyway. an enormous pipe organ. Why all the sound? No, you gave yourself an enormous pipe organ. <laughs> this is for yeah, you. It's yeah, this, this is room you. is you. It's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> this is so self-indulgent, and you've got away with it by making. A self-indulgent villain. <laughs> He's right. I, have. I think it's good. And also, I turn on the torch. Click. <laughs> um, wait, no, no. Definitely, cells torches have now been retrofitted with like a tinder box that you yeah. scooch the side of it. Mechanically, it's exactly the same as a normal yeah. torch, but you can do it going. Cool. You light up a seemingly straightforward corridor without even a knowledge engineering check. Oh, that's really good. Like, is there it, two it, feet of water along the whole yeah, length like, of it? Yeah, like, what it is, is this is clearly... Th- there's a principle for this kind of thing I'm not going to go into. You have airlocks, yes, but you also have, like, reset points for this kind of thing, okay. where it's like, in the event that this quadrant has gone under, 
you make you might even have five doors in a row depending on what it is which is just like yes but there's a hard reset on this quadrant it looks like you're leaving a zone for another zone that's you, that'd be your guess bulk heading right effectively yeah. it's yeah. it's the same principle yeah. without even a check you know you are leaving a zone for a different it's zone. the crystal maze yeah cool okay Let's have fun. Oh, also, side thing, really good that there wasn't any like explosive gas. I wasn't sure there would be when I turned this torch on. Uh, oh, but... I hadn't considered that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm I'm often thinking about explosive gas, so I I I've lost track of whether that's a realistic doesn't have fear. A, does it have a smell? Can do. I've I've been in a mine for years, so I completely forgot that. Oh, you used to be a miner. Yes. Again, I can give you the. F- we'll talk later. <laughs> yes. I mean, technically, we all used to Yes, thank you. <laughs> well, I was thinking that so hard. <laughs> With an E. Oh, right. Oh, what did you mine? Tin. Correct. Oh, oh right. So, like... I did research. Look at you. <laughs> That's the first time it came up in four years. Oh, yeah. Well, I still know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know much about tin, but was, I, I'm, I, I assume it happened. It, it's a fine mineral. Like it... Uh, yeah, yeah common, <laughs> common or garden. It was a long time ago. Just yeah. Let's, I'm sure um, the tin is grateful. Anyway, <laughs> let's get going. Yes. Let's. Splashy splash. Splashy splash. Oh, sorry, splash. sneaky. Okay. Do you close behind you the door that you just opened? Absolutely. Yes. Seems so. Okay. Was going to suggest that, but then thought. Got One of those times where I don't want to breathe in, breathe out, but it kind of matters. No, it doesn't. Okay, matter. cool. You are now in the corridor. As you close the door. Yep. Is it pop? Fum, 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 fum. Electric lights <sighs> burst on. Dramatically. Big, big bright ones like chonk, 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 chonk. All the way down the corridor, highlighting the door at the other end, which, now that the lights are on, you can all see because you were on dark vision and so on before, mm-hmm. is gold. It's a golden bulkhead. Oh, um, this does not look good. Uh, even at a glance, it's not. you can tell it's not a solid gold bulkhead, but <laughs> it looks like he genuinely may, might have sprung for gold plating on a bulkhead. Right, so this will be the final room then. Can you not see, like, surely you would want the lights to go like this when you open the door, right? Not when you shut the door behind mm. you. That's just, that's just not that He's not a very intelligent person. No, whoever like. designed this really just, like, they, they're on the edge of genius, but they fall so short. Mm. It's like, mind the gap. Fall. Should we, should we go and open that door carefully? And, oh, we haven't been looking for traps. Perception check. Different. Yeah. Look, yeah. look around Scan for around. traps. Mm. Oh, twenty. Not natural. Also unnatural twenty. An unnatural twenty. Twenty-six. Ooh. So the highest is twenty-six. Yeah. What was the lowest? Twenty. Azu's the only one that spots it. <gasps> this never happens. <laughs> there is an incredibly fine incredibly well made like probably using things like silk from an insect kind of levels of fineness oh. trip wire running That's the, the only entire of width of the is. corridor about three feet off the ground okay wait what there's a look there's a there's a thing there's a little it's tiny almost invisible to your eyes there's i kind of move my head around oh yeah right so i guess we step over that since I don't know how to... There's yeah, I, I would have said it would be a difficulty, but go, go, boots, go! And I fly up to the ceiling and just kind of hand myself along yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the roof. Okay, I carefully step over it. Yeah, all the taller people. Yeah, you, you, got, can, you, you can guys do it more easily. I, 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 yeah. I would struggle because I'm you four have, foot three. You would, so that's chest height. You would have it easier to crawl underneath oh, it. Oh, actually, no. I, I, <laughs> I, would, yeah, I, I actually wouldn't have it difficult. I could just get down and roll over roll yeah. under it. <laughs> Cell's going to crawl underneath because that's fine. Cell knows they're clumsy. That's, that's fine. Aw. That's a I'm, 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 Yeah, you've I seen it. I don't require massively really complicate that by doing the levitation boots. Mm-hmm. I could, I didn't. Yeah. In which case, then you proceed past the tripwire mm-hmm. to the golden door. Okay, so right, cool. Should we do any prep before we go through? Is I'm it? prepped um, as I can be. Do you think we're going to get into an immediate fight? Probably. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I, this looks like a big end point. So I just just to let you know, don't be too alarmed by what's about to happen. But like I I just just so you know, things might get spiky. And so uh, sell We have we have been in fights before. Chunks the beast morph mutagen mm-hmm. potion and Hulks out. Hulks out Ooh. Bat wings Ho oh! Got big bat wings, animalistic features and bulkier. I can fly 30 foot, and also I get dark vision. You basically I become am... man bat. 
I become <laughs> man. Ba- well, person bat. Well, in this situation, man yeah, person bat. Yeah, I was referencing the actual DC character. Yeah, man bat. Uh, canon wise, I get massive claws and huge hungry teeth. And because of huge hungry teeth, and because I'm swapping con for charisma, my hit points go up to 55. Please tell me you're swapping charisma for con, because the other way around yeah, is yeah, yeah. just like, you look at these fangs and like. Nice. Sexy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but then their charisma, which was already minus one, then goes down two, so becomes minus two. But their HP is now small still compared to you folks. But uh, but you are an enormous bat person. So, I am you know, an enormous bat person. Thank you so much, Eva. Thank you for putting up with that. I think I'm ready now. And braces against the door. All right. As it lets go of your hand. <laughs> yeah, it will yeah. be very spiky. <laughs> well, you. quite frankly, I may or may not have spells to do, but I'm probably going to look them up in an interim thing and have cast them. Because for the for flavour reasons, why don't we end with you throwing open the door and retcon in all of the preparations that That's are required from thinking, everyone? Because I have many questions and what need to an go on excellent the idea! <laughs> because this will matter. Yeah. But I'm now a bat. That's cool. I mean, teeth. That's the coolest bit. And Azu has her beard. And yep. thus, <laughs> do we open the golden metal door? I believe yeah. we do. Excellent. The trap goes. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> We'll close the episode there with you throwing open the golden metal door with no idea of what's on the other side. Right. But prepared! But extremely I still don't know if my stealth roll worked! God damn it, Alex! <laughs> oh, that was intentional. I'm really glad it panned out that way. <sighs> See you next week, guys. Oh, yeah! Bye. 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 Rusty Quill Gaming is a podcast distributed by Rusty Quill and licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution non-commercial sharealike 4.0 international license. Today's episode was directed by Alexander J. Newell and produced by April Sumner. To subscribe, buy merchandise, or join our Patreon, visit rustyquill.com. Rate and review us online, tweet us at the Rusty Quill, visit us on Facebook, or email us via mail at rustyquill.com. Join our community on the Discord via the website or on Reddit at r slash rustyquill. Thanks for listening. Can any of us this whole place is we... a trap. Yes, but there might be specific smaller traps. <laughs> I mean, that would be great. I, I try and search for traps. You're in one. <laughs> <laughs>